Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a huge P.O. Box unboxing haul video. It's all like a big surprise because most of this stuff I haven't even opened yet. So I'm just going to open it on camera. I have quite the selection today. We've got loads of these little bags. We've got big bags. We've got boxes. Like there is a lot to get through. This is probably going to be the biggest one, but I think I say that every time. But I think this time we genuinely have the biggest one. I'm going to try and film this video for as long as possible without putting the fan on because it does make a like blowing noise in the background, obviously, because it's a fan. So I'm going to try and not put it on, but I don't know how long I'm going to last. Place your bets now. I think I'll probably last five minutes and I will put it on, but yeah, I'm going to try and not turn it on. So where do I even begin? Right, I'm just going to start with this pink bag here okay so this first package is from I, I don't know if i'm gonna say this right but i believe it's pronounced patisserie deb bane but it's like <laughs> that sounded so british it's been but, 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 but it's meant to be french patisserie de bane but obviously i'm so british i just i can't do the accent so that is the brand and they do really nice like bath and body bits so this is their orange crush bath bomb smells a bit like orange funnily enough and what a whopper that could create an explosion but i'm very excited to try that this is the cranberries and cream hand and body lotion oh let's give it a sniff that smells good oh a little strawberry cupcake hand cream i'm gonna like this i love strawberry scents mm. and then we've also got a sweet as cherry pie soap cake slice cake i think not edible it's soap so i would assume you don't eat that but it says cake Ooh, that smells good okay everything smells amazing i've got another package here which looks like it's full of a selection of all sorts blooming hell i think this is jewelry oh my goodness okay hang on a minute who is who so the first things i have in here are from helge studio have i said that right i cannot pronounce things it's it's jewelry i'm so excited i've got two little boxes here and i've just destroyed it Oh my god that is so cute it's got loads of little stars along it like little silver stars and i believe it's a choker necklace kind of thing that is so cute it's a little gold ring with a little like gem i guess in the middle i love it i love this ring it's so nice okay i've also got two products in here by a brand that i've never heard of and i'm also going to really struggle to pronounce there seems to be a running theme here i cannot pronounce any of the brands in this video i don't know maybe it's just drobux I don't know. I, I don't know. You guys can see here what it what it is. Pronounce it however you want. This is their two-in-one mask and scrub, which is very exciting. I love a good scrub. And this is their No Worries Hydrating Face Moisturizer. I also love a bit of moisture, so <laughs> I'm very excited to try these. I've never heard of that brand before. Okay, I can definitely pronounce this one. These are from Barry M. I'd, I'd be worried if I couldn't say that. We've got some Barry M Gloss Me Up lip glosses in a selection of of shades so they look a bit like that they're very nice and like natural nudie pinky colors so i would definitely go for something like this they do look really pretty and then lastly i have a load of products in here from another brand that i've never heard of like this is all stuff i've never heard of it's from laura geller new york so i've got four of the dew dreamer illuminating drops oh look we've got some squeezy pipettes so yeah very liquidy can you hear the hat? Very liquidy. I think you need to shake it. Oh yeah, shake first. And then this is another product from Laura Geller. And oh my God, it's a highlighter palette. All of these are very highlighty. This is the Life Glows On Illuminator Palette. So let's have a look. It might be like a powder highlight, this one. Oh my God, the package, the packaging. Look at that. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness. They're like little swirls of highlighter. I'm definitely gonna have to try these in a video at some point, they look so nice. I need to go and put Nathan on. Nathan, the fan. Do you get it? Nathan. I, oh, that was probably very loud. I do apologize. <laughs> okay, this is from a brand called Kitsch. Kitsch? Kitsch? I don't know, but these look cute it's like cute little hair accessories and stuff like that so where should i start this is a i don't have a bloody clue it's like a fancy 
hairdo thing, like that fancy hairdos have. <laughs> That made me jump. <laughs> the packaging is loud. They basically look like a really sweet little brand. There's some hair bubbles and hair clips and these like hair ties with bubbly bits on them. Okay, I'm gonna open these two next and I've had these packages for months, like honestly so, so long and I'm pretty sure I know what's in there, but let's start with the purple one. They came like together, so I'm guessing it's all from the same brand. Yeah, I had a feeling this is what it was because I saw lots of other people receiving these as well, like around the same time. And it's from Urban Decay, Back Talk Eye and Face Palette. Wow, wow, oh wow. Ah. No. <laughs> No, it's okay. Just a little mark. Oh, no. That's my finger. I just think this is so nifty because you've got on one side these, like, blushy, highlighty kind of colours. And then on the other side, you've got a load of eyeshadows. And then in the middle, you've got your mirror. It's sort of like, it's like everything in one place, but it just feels so nice and chunky and just... It's very fun to do this with. And then we've also got one of their Vice A... Oh. <laughs> Whenever I see the Urban Decay logo, I always go to say HD. HD. So I was like, Vice HD lipstick, I was going to say. No, it's the Urban Decay Vice lipstick. This one is in the shade... Oh, Backtalk Comfort Matte. No, that's probably not the shade name. I think it's called Backtalk. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, do I? Oh, yeah, it's like a pinky nude colour. It looks like my sort of thing, so I'm excited to try that. It just looks so swanky in the packaging, doesn't it? And then we've also got another bag from Urban Decay, and this is their Beached Eyeshadow Palette. So we've got another eyeshadow palette. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it opens that way. That's fun, isn't it? Oh, bloody hell. Look at those... I'm gonna sneeze. This looks so cool, but look at those blues. They're well bright. And then we've also got the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. Oh, that looks quite nice, actually. Looks like a pretty decent bronzy colour. It's like completely matte. Oh, I don't recognise this. What the hell? The brand is literally called Nug. That's what I call chicken nuggets. A Nug. <laughs> so this is the Nug hydrating lip mask and it's in a little ball that is cool i'm excited to try that and this is their exfoliating lip smoother which is also in a little ball i've also got a couple of nug face masks this is the charcoal one and this is a peel off leaf one i don't know and then lastly we've got the Oh, a cucumber face mask. Okay, this next bag looks like it's filled with a mixture of different things. These! Okay, I've got a right mixture in here. So the first products are from Garnier. Garnier? Garn... I think it's Garnier. Skin Active Pure Intensive Anti-Blackhead Charcoal Cleansing Gel. Bloody hell. What a title. <laughs> One of those, I'm excited to give that a try. They've also thrown in one of these little like headband things that you can use to pull your hair back. And then we've also got their Pure Charcoal Black Tissue Mask. I've also got some products from Models Own and this is their Cheat Day collection. So what are they? This is the first palette. This is the, oh, it's an eyeshadow palette. Look at them. They look like funny little nips. They actually really don't. Like, nipples don't look like that, but <laughs> it's a circle with a circle inside it. You know, you get what I mean. This packaging is so cute. It's basically, I think they're meant to be like little donuts, not nipples, donuts, obviously. And this is the Cheek Glaze Highlighter Palette. Like, genuinely the biggest highlighter palette I've ever seen. They are huge. And lastly, I've got some of the Cheat Day Lip Glazes in three different colours. Yeah, I mean, what's a lip glaze? Is that a lip gloss? And then lastly, I've got two little boxes. I'm just gonna open them up. I have absolutely no clue what is in here. Is that food? What is it? I don't know that that's food. Oh, we've just got another one in the other box. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and find out what they are. I don't know, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna put it in my mouth until we know for sure. <laughs> okay, I'm now gonna open the big, heavy silver one. I love these bags the most, like look. Okay, I'm going to start with this. This is the Collab Dry Shampoo Unicorn Fragrance. What? 
unicorn fragrance. What does a bloody unicorn smell like? Apparently amazing. Okay, I've also got some products from, oh my God, this is Garnier again, Garnier. I've got some more stuff from them. This is their Ultimate Blends Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm very excited to try these. And then we've also got a Ultimate Blends, oh, a hair mask. This is a tea and coffee, some grains, some granules of tea and coffee. Wait, tea and coffee mixed together? Oh, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's almond tea. And then this is like a little tea making kit. And then we've also got some golden eggs. I think they might be chocolate. Okay, so I've also got this MUA festival kit and it's just filled with like a selection of their products. We've got a brush, a lip kit, loose powder highlighter, prism one green a green highlighter interesting and we've also got this eyeshadow palette this is their frosted gleam eyeshadow palette it looks really pretty it's got some nice like shimmery colors a prism holographic stick look at that i've got a separate little package from models own okay i'm gonna start with this because i can tell what this is it's an eyeshadow palette and it's their blaze turn up the heat eyeshadow palette so yeah, you've just got like some bronzy colours, an orange, a, or, no, an orange. Does that look like orange? Some bronzy colours, a yellow, an orange and a red and some shimmers. Nice little selection. And I have no idea what these are. So I've got all of these little bubble wrapped mysteries. I have no idea what they are. Oh, I can see some pipettes. We've got some squeezy nubs. So I'm guessing it's like liquid highlighters maybe. So these are the Glow For It Illuminator Drops. And oh my God, I've got so many Illuminator Drops in this. <gasps> like Illuminator Drops for days. I was fine though. I'm gonna like dish them out to people. I'm not keeping it all for myself. Holy, <gasps> it's like an icy blue. I can't imagine how it would look on the skin, but still it looks nice in the bottle. That is so cool. So this is like a goldeny shade. Oh, this one looks pretty. <gasps> It's like a really pale pink. Okay, I think I've worked out what this is. I think this might be Soph's palette and lipsticks. Wait, oh no! It's Soph's products. As you guys know, I have already bought them. Like I pretty much bought them the day they came out and I've already done like a video testing them all out. But this is Soph's new extra spice palette and the three lipsticks as well. So yay i love them you guys know i love them i've already tried them out and i think they're amazing so i will find a good home for these extra ones okay so we are now onto the boxes apart from this actually this is already open because i didn't know that it was like a peer box thing i just sort of opened the box but it is actually from a brand called yope and it's in this really nice box it's really nice packaging and then inside we've got this bottle of soap and it's ginger sandalwood soap oh my goodness that smells like a gingerbread man i instantly have a christmas tingle and then it also comes with a tea and mint natural hand cream <gasps> let me give that one a smell mm, oh that's such a nice like fresh smell like i do like a bit of mint so yeah they're really cute okay so i've also got two of these boxes and one of them i have already opened because i've had it for ages and the other one i literally got it this morning so i thought well can throw it in this video but yeah let me just show you the one that i have already opened first so yeah this is the one that i've opened and it's from iconic london and i'm pretty sure the other one is from them as well because it's like exactly the same box but yeah they sent me over two of their illuminators this is the iconic london pro evo brush <laughs> something like that but look at them oh my goodness firstly how nice is the like bit here and then it's like I mean, I don't even know how you'd use that, but I'm excited to try it. They look so fancy. Oh, I think it's the same thing. Oh, no, no, no. That one was the sculpting brush and this is the buffer brush. How cool. They look so cool. And oh my goodness, so soft. And then we've also got some of these. I can't remember what these are actually. These are the Iconic London pigment sticks. Are they like foundation sticks maybe? Yeah, they look like foundation sticks. So again excited to give them a go okay i'm now going to open up the other box and i'm pretty sure it will be from iconic london as well Ta -da! i knew it it's literally like i just know that box i know it's from them okay so this is the iconic london luminous powder and pro puff 
Oh my God. Oh my God, it's what dreams are made of. That is so unbelievably soft. It looks so nice, but geez, a couple of splodges and your whole face would be done. Did you see my face when I saw it? I was like, <gasps> I was not expecting that. That is the biggest brush I've ever seen in all my life. And there is also their Luminous Powder. So comes in this packaging. Wow. What is it? It's like a really highlighty bronzy thing. I've also got this little box from Beauty Bay and I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. I haven't opened it yet, but I think I know what's in here. Okay, so Beauty Bay kindly sent me over a couple of things to try out. And we've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I think I've said that right. I've heard people like talk about this for years, but I've never tried it because I don't really have like expensive makeup. I don't spend my money on makeup ever. So I've never tried this. I feel like everyone has tried it. Velvet, no, suede. That is so cool. Like it's a fabric packaging. Oh my God, I love it. I get more excited about packaging than the actual makeup, don't I? But oh my goodness. And then inside, ta-da! Ow! Inside we just have a selection of shades and they're very much my kind of thing. We've got some bronzy ones, some goldy ones, some shimmery ones, some mattes. That is pretty cool. And then this is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Birthday Suit. And again, I've never tried any of his products ever. Very cute packaging, You've got some little stars. And it's just like a nudie liquid lipstick. It's definitely my sort of shade, so I will have to give that a go. Okay, there is one more bag and then I'll get back on with the boxes, but it looks like this. I have opened this already, so I do know what's inside it. It's so cute. And firstly, the bag, it's like magnet. It's like magnet. It's magnetic is what I was meant to say. And this is the brand My Mood, I think it's called. And it's like a new brand that they've launched in Topshop. Okay, yeah, it's launched in Topshop Oxford Circus and in Boots UK Nationwide. Look at this little pencil case, makeup bag, whatever you want. It's fluffy. I've also got this phone case. I mean, it's a little bit crazy for me, but if you like that kind of thing, how cool is that? I mean, you definitely wouldn't lose your phone in your bag with that. We've got a headband with pom-poms on it. Oh my goodness, I forgot how good they smell. They smell so nice. We've got a couple of body mists. This one is called Good Vibes or Goodbye. And this one is called I'm like 104% tired. The names are so cool. Like they're just really cute little names. And we've also got a body polish, a nourishing body cream, some stickers with a hot dog. This is the Turn Me On power bank, so a little like portable charger. And then lastly, I've got a couple of lip products. This is the Smile Every Day Smoothing Lip Balm. And this one, my personal fave, because it's in the shape of a little like pill. I don't know, I just think it looks so cool. It's so different, but it is just a lip, oh no, a jelly lip balm sounds pretty cool to me so yeah they also have a load of other stuff but i just think it's a really cool brand like they've done a pretty good job this is a box from the body shop and they have very kindly sent me over some of their strawberry hair products and i love strawberry scents like they're my absolute fave so we've got their shampoo their conditioner and this is the Fuji green tea hair scrub. So I'm very excited to use those. And then there's also a little brush in there. And, oh, what's this? Oh my God, it has my initials on it. That is so cool. I didn't even notice that when I opened this before. <gasps> Yay, that's so nice. We're ready for the grand finale. Are you ready for a giant banana? This is just what I needed, a banana package. As you guys know, well, you might not, but if you didn't know, I love a cheeky banana. Bananas are like my fave. I eat bananas a lot. And this is the Body Shop's banana range. First of all, a t-shirt and it says bananas over you on it, which I think is just such a cute little pun and I'm definitely gonna wear this. We have some banana related treats, which I'm very excited to eat. And there's also, I think it's like a tablecloth or something like that with this like banana leaf print on it and i think this is more to like take photos with it now onto the actual products so we've got the this is what i'm most excited about this is the banana body yogurt and i absolutely love the body shop body yogurts so the fact that they have a banana one 
it fills me with a lot of joy. Banana shampoo, which I've actually already got, like I'm using this at the moment because I absolutely love it. And I've also got the banana hair mask as well. There's a black musk deodorant in there and a couple of makeup-y bits. This is their Lash Sport Waterproof Mascara and a Brow Sport Brow Liner. So I'm excited to try those. And we've also got the Skin Defense Multi Protection Essence. What are ya? I think it's like an SPF kind of thingamabob. Yeah, I think it's like a suntan lotion. I might be wrong. So that is everything that I received in my PO box. I'm so grateful as always. Like it blows my mind that I've been sent all of these bits. It's honestly crazy. And I feel like this video has been so long. So if you've watched the whole thing, congratulations. Like it has been a long one, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you want me to do more of these, because I definitely will. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.